Abandoned and former manufacturing plants across the Piedmont Triad up in flames. For months, we've shown you video of the fires, all of them quite spectacular, that crews have spent hours and used lots of resources putting out. From Randolph to Alamance counties, these buildings have been left charred, and tonight the remains of another one of these old buildings are smoldering even as we speak, and this time, this fire's in Davidson County. Good evening. Welcome to the Fox 8 10 o'clock news. I'm Neil McNeil. And I'm Katie Nordine. The most recent fire happened at an old furniture factory off Elk Street in Lexington. It started early this morning, and tonight crews are still working to put out hot spots. Fox 8's Justin Lundy is live at the scene with an update on the efforts to keep this from sparking again and what city leaders plan to do with the other vacant buildings in the area. Justin. It's 12 hours after the fire initially ignited. Crews are still on the scene trying to put out hot spots. You can actually see the blaze still flickering through the window of the building. And just a short time ago, before I went live, the ladders of the firefighters that were shooting water into the building just went down. But according to Lexington Fire Chief Paul Jarrett, the building has been abandoned for years and has caught on fire several times, dating all the way back to 2009. Now, according to Tammy Absher, the city's director of business, Business and community development. The city plans to redevelop around 18 acres of buildings along Elk Street, and that's been the works for years. And the building that caught on fire today is expected to be a passenger train station. Absher also says fires like this can be prevented, and she recommends developers who have plans to revitalize these buildings to make sure they are doing enough to keep them locked so no one can get inside. The goal is to one day repurpose all of the abandoned buildings. Most of the buildings in that vicinity have been filled. There are a few still remaining, but there are conversations and plans underway to redevelop those. We are in the process of reviewing a request. We sent out a request for proposal, so we're in the process of reviewing proposals, and then we will see how those buildings can be reused and repurposed. Absher says the building was scheduled to be demolished next week and crews will be on scene throughout the night to monitor hotspots. Reporting live in Lexington, Justin Lundy, Fox 8 News. Justin, thank you.